Today we're going to be taking a look at the ADE Advanced Optics Apollo Pro 4MOA Red Dot and that's coming up next here on Jesse B Outdoors. Welcome back everybody and don't forget to like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell, leave a comment down below if you like videos like this. So we got our first pistol red dot into the channel to review today. What we're going to do is we're going to take it over to the table. I'm going to unbox this, show you everything that comes with it, go over some of the features about it, and then we're going to mount this up on my P365 380 SIG and we're going to try it out on there, take it outside and I'll tell you my thoughts on it. So let's get started. Now we're at the table, let's pop this open and see what all comes with it. Looks like right on top here, we've got a bag that has our instruction manual. And then it has all of our different screws in it. Looks like a cleaning cloth, a wrench to put the screws in. That's a nice touch that it comes with all that. Looks like over here we've got our adjustment wheel. I'm gonna pop this out of here to try to get it all. Looks like down in here we have our screwdriver here to help install it. And then right here we have our actual red dot. You can see it already comes with a battery in it and a cover. And that's everything in the box, so let's go over this. The ADE Apollo Pro is designed to fit on any RMS or RMSC screw pattern footprint. It has a solar power panel that allows for the red dot sight to continually be powered on even when the battery is out. This runs on a CR2032 3 volt battery. The battery life can last up to 50,000 hours depending on the setting. It features an auto dimming sensor which regulates the brightness depending on your environment. Because it has a solar panel and the sensor for auto dimming, this has absolutely no buttons anywhere on the optic. The rear part of the optic has a built in iron sight. It is parallax free and has a limited eye relief. It is made from aircraft grade aluminum with anodized black finish and it has multi-coated lenses. The total length on this is 1.6 inches. Total width on it is 1 inch. And the total height on it is 0.9 inches. The lens is 0.87 inches by 0.63 or in other words it is a 22 millimeter lens on it. And one of the nice things about this I mentioned earlier it comes with three sets of screws. It comes with ones for the SIG P365, the Springfield Hellcat, and the Canik TP9SC only. Now we got it mounted up here on my SIG P365 380. And just so you guys know, nothing in the magazine. There is nothing in the chamber. This gun is safe to handle. So what I got to tell you guys is a couple things before we take this outside. First off, this red dot is a prototype. This is not on the market yet. They sent this out to me to test. I actually talked with them and said, hey, I'm getting into pistol red dots. Would you guys be willing to send anything out? And they said, yes. They asked what guns I had. And they said, hey, we got this prototype. We want you to try out and see how you like it since you're trying to get used to shooting with a red dot. So I'm doing two things with this. I'm testing it out for them and I'm learning how to shoot a pistol red dot for me. Now, because this is a prototype, I did have to file down the back of it to make it fit on this gun. So I did uh, get a hold of ADE and I let them know, hey, I did have to file the back of it down to make it sit down in here. Just so they know, because that's part of a prototype is learning what you need to do. So they now know that. Also on this, this red dot's only rated for 9mm. So only shoot it with 380 like what this is and 9mm. Don't put it on anything like a 45 or a 10mm. This is not going to handle that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my bore sighter out and I'm going to roughly bore sight it here in the house. And then we're going to take it outside and put a target up, get it fine tuned out there. And then I'll be back and show you guys and we'll take it out and shoot it. So let's go ahead and head outside. Now we're outside here. I've actually shot this quite a few times now before this video to get my impressions on it. I think I got it pretty dialed in here. So let's go ahead, load the magazine up in here, try our first shot. I'm going to try for the big silhouette just to get my aim down again. Oop, have a round not go off. We'll just let that sit in there for a second. Jack that. All right. We got that one down. Now let's put another magazine in and transition around. All right, now I'm going to transition around with it. All right.
quiet not too bad so far first two magazines this dot it's nice bright i have stigmatism and it is not star bursting that much on me at all so far i'm really liking this all right now with this magazine here i've probably had a total of maybe 12 magazines on camera now and off camera now shooting this thing and i'm not much of a red dot shooter and i can tell you guys i'm getting used to red dots i'm really liking them and this thing is working out pretty good let's have some more fun let's try that small plate Oop, slow down here there we go all right liking this red dot guys it's working real well all right now what should we do on this i think what i'm going to do is i'm just going to try to dump this one on the big silhouette just to see how i can do with it all right miscounted my rounds but it fired off and i hit them about every time not too bad all right guys just in this video i put a few magazines through it and like i said today i have put about 300 rounds through this gun making videos i've been out here doing videos all day with just this gun for you guys to see and i gotta tell you i'm really impressed with this like i said before in the video this has a solar panel up on top and this thing when you got it out in the sun like this it runs off that instead of the battery i've had this thing for three four weeks now battery it's been on sitting in the safe the whole time you can't shut this dot on and off it's just automatically on no matter what the dot is really bright on it you can see it perfectly fine out here when i do my job i wanted to try it on the p365 380 i'm going to leave a card up above to my uh buddy uh chris from the 740 he put it on his 365 xl now both of these these are not the final production thing these are all just a prototype he had to file his down a little bit to get it to fit into his xl and i had to file on the end of it too to get it onto this now when i emailed them about it they said yep we already know that's an issue so we're shortening up the footprint on it a little bit so it'll fit in the sigs better so that's good to know that they're listening to the people that they're sending these out to to test them and they're doing a great job with that so when this does come out for sale you can definitely know it's going to fit a sig now the one con i can think of this since i've had this and i've been shooting it for a while now before i did this video the battery is in the bottom and if you want to change the battery on this you have to take it completely off which means you're going to have to re-zero this when you put a new battery in but to also offset that because it has a solar panel a battery should last a long time so that could be a con but it might not be because it says like it gets 50,000 hours because it's running like right now because it's sunny out it's running off that solar panel i like the size of it for this gun the glass is nice and clear i could see through it perfect like i said i have astigmatism and it's not star bursting that much at all on it so far i'm pretty impressed with this dot so what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave a link in my link tree for you guys for when this does come available for sale. That way you guys can pick one up if you want to try them out. So far, I give it a thumbs up. I probably got about 500 rounds total now with this dot on. Some in this video and some in other videos I've done and some off camera that I shot it in to test it out. So I do approve of this one so far. So if you like videos like this, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell. Leave a comment down below. We are One Nation Under God, and I'll see you all on the next one.